hospital, one of my really good friends was diagnosed with leukemia um, on Valentine's Day. Literally, she was at Galentine's and two days later diagnosed with leukemia. Um, so we have a really close like sisterhood of friends that were all at Galentine's um, and we're all switching off days to take care of her. Today's my day to take care of her. She'll be in the hospital for at least a month getting chemo. So today I texted her at 5 a.m. and she said, I want a pataya bowl. And I was like, and she needs toothpaste. So we're gonna go get her a pataya bowl and toothpaste. And that'll be trip number one to Hogue Hospital today. <laughs> Okay, so we just left the hospital. Michelle was asleep, so it was a quick drop off of the Pattaya. We'll be back there later today. And um, anyway, so we're headed home to pick up Chase so we can ride together and discuss life. Um, like, so what's crazy is Chase and I are trying to figure out if we should just Airbnb it until the kids get out of school and then take off like on a summer vacation for like four months and just like travel all over the place and not worry about having a house because none of the house, I mean, we'll see what this house is like, but wouldn't that be so cool? Comment below if you would love to, if you would travel for four months with your kids all over the country world, if you had the resources and capabilities to do so, let me know. Cause I'm, I'm down, I'm down to make it happen. Yay. Make a right, make a right right here. Uh, yeah, you're good. Hurry, 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 punch it. Oh my god, now he's making me run red lights. Whoa! Well, there's a cop right there. Yeah, I don't have the seatbelt on. Oh, that cop's finding drugs right there. Where am I going? Oh, shoot. Uh, right here. Maybe right. Oh my god. Why, God? Why, God? Turn off the Insta story at least, please, dear God. Hi. I'm, I'm here to see a house. Seven, we're looking at it to rent it. We're Seventeen. Yeah. That girl, that girl looked like she was getting pulled. Like they were checking her car out for three motorcycles. Yeah, they were looking. Fucking drugs. <sighs> what? Your name. Kayla Craft or Chase Craft? Oh. Well, first of all, this is too busy of a street. Don't you agree? I mean, the kids oh. wouldn't even be able to play. Okay. Well, I do like it though. I mean. Let's get it real right now. I mean, <laughs> well, it's pretty. And it has room for my minivan that I'm going to be getting. Hey, will June. you uh, unlock me over here? I got the child lock thing going on here. Oh, never mind. I got it. Oh, my God. Okay, Kimmy, we're going to look at this house. I'll call you back. So initial thought is no. okay. He like wanted to fight with me on things. It's like, dude, I, I, I guess what? I get to have my opinion. Bye. <laughs> no go. No go. No go. Too much carpet and it smelled like curry. Nothing against curry. I like curry, but you can't get that stuff out. Short and simple. No. First reaction to the house. To my house, I love this. The house. other one. Oh, I don't like it. Bye. I feel like it's pretty easy to make to be a good agent because there's so many bad agents out there. Did you think he was a good agent? No. He was not nice. No, I'm saying I'm, I feel like it would be easy to be a good, you know what, let's to give be some a successful advice. agent. Yeah, be nice. Be nice and don't argue with the clients. If the clients don't like something, just be like, no, what do you like? Don't be like, you're a bad person for not liking curry. Come on now. <laughs> Right now we're getting ready for live coaching. And so this is going into the Millionaire S Society and I take on four people. It's my favorite part of the Millionaire S Society. And it, it, it like basically provides people with affordable coaching. And we're gonna do that. Then after that I'm gonna get on some sales calls with people that, I can't remember what sales calls they are, but um, I think people that wanna have 
to have me as like their private coach, you know? So I'll do some sales calls and then picking up, and then we're gonna talk to Chase. I gotta talk to Chase later today, okay? Because me and him are kind of at odds about what to do, where we're gonna move. Like, if, are we gonna move in 10 days? Like, or should we just wait it out here for 11 months? And cause it's like, you know, it's not bad. But I think that, I don't know. I just like, that's a lot to do in the next 10 days. Like I have an event this weekend, that's a three day event. And then I have another event in two weeks. So it's like a lot of stuff happening. And like, how am I gonna keep my head crystal clear and then be moving at the same time? Like, you know what I mean? So we have to have a discussion. So we'll see. I'm a little bit, I gotta pray about it. Get centered. Okay, wish me luck. Coaching went great. We started off with um, a really great girl that just started a business like, what, six weeks ago? So it was fun to help her figure out how she could replace um, an income because she's going through a divorce by next month. And we figured out all the numbers and also the mindset that she had to embody in order to make that happen. So I love doing that. I love strategy, but I also like giving them like tangible mindset tools and it's, really like never that complicated. It's usually that they haven't spent enough time thinking about who the highest version of themselves are. And that's like the most important thing. So yeah, we had fun today. We're locked into three months. So if something pops up in the next couple of weeks, we can't just like tell them we're out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or we do an Airbnb. Why don't we just get an RV and go down to Newport Dunes? To camp out? <laughs> I'm being for real. You can do that. I think we should get a small little townhome in Irvine, save a bunch of money, and. Dude, I was just telling you that we can go look at a nice house in Irvine and still save money. Um, I'm sorry, sorry. What? It's twelve thousand dollars. That's not saving money. We can offer them less. Well, they're not going to take it. Fine, right, now it. offer them less. If they see if they'll take eight grand, I'm moving in. What's up? See if they'll take eight grand. They're probably not gonna take eight. What time are we telling Shelby to be here? Six thirty. Can we go on a date right now? We have about an hour before we have to pick up the kids. I'll do a podcast later. Can we? I'm serious. I would love to go on a date with you for an hour right now. I need to be in bed by six a.m. by six p.m. tonight. Really? Yes. Why do you want to go on a date with me? Because that's that was our going to be our non-negotiable. Well, I know, but why is it important to go on a date? Because it's good for us. If you us can't to sell connect. it on me, then sell it to me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't sell anybody on myself. That's on a quote. Is that going to be on a quote card? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just saying. You either you either about it or you're, you're not. He, you're here at my house. It's not like. Like I can see you here. It's not like I'm not sold on you. I can see you at my house. We live together. Well, then bye, Felicia. <laughs> you want like me to tell you? To do, that. do you want me to tell you why I think you should go on a date with me? No. <laughs> okay. Why do you want to go on a date with me then? Okay, bye. I'm done. Over, I'm over this conversation. Hold on. Nope. You're talking to your phone. Your phone, phone's more important than no, me. Bye. No. Uh, Gary, the flight king, is telling me that he said, I hope you guys are calling off the mastermind in Bali. What? Oh my gosh. Why? Because of the coronavirus? This is... What? Kimmy was right. Look. Dang. Okay, we gotta we gotta get this under control. <sighs> what do we do uh, to get to Bali? We have to travel via to get virus to Bali. Infected countries. What about about coronavirus? Okay, well Chase is talking to our flight guy, and he said we need to cancel the 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 Bali trip. 
He said, trust me, get, to get to Bali, we got to travel via virus infected countries. So should I just go live in the face? Asia is done. What does that mean? Asia is done. Like everybody's dying in Asia? What about like, what about, um, what are some other? How are people in Bali right now? Like, how are they going to get home? Well, he's saying that we have, you have to travel. Bora Bora is pain in the ass to get to. What so. about Maldives? Okay, I heard the coronavirus is just like the flu and that we all shouldn't be freaking out so bad. Well, my people in China said that it's serious. Like, they're... Can they refund us our money, by the way? Who? The people in China. No, it's the stuff is coming. When is it coming? Nothing can leave China right now. Everything is on a halt. They need to just refund our money. Oh gosh, because nobody wants to go international. I wonder if we just say, hey, you guys, instead of Bali, let's go to a different location and we'll move the international trip to fall after all of this clears over. He said stay in the U.S. Oh my God. So they're saying stay in the state. So this, they don't think this is going to be cleared up by May. Okay, so what's our other options here? We need to just, so we need to stay. Move New York to the Yeah, we need, to, we need to move New York to May then. Is May a good time to go to New York? Italy just got shut down. Who knows where it'll spread to. Dang. That sucks for him. He's down almost 20% in Q1. <clears throat> or, sh okay. Do people want to go to New York in May? I feel like it's kind of a boring time. I think May is really pretty in New York, isn't it? Yeah, it's like 75. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and just see who can hop on. Okay, bye. even looks good <laughs> okay so what the heck okay so we just we we're supposed to go to bali in may for our mastermind it was like this beautiful six day retreat we're gonna do yoga meditation and get this these beautiful photos done and just spend like quality time with the girls in bali and mastermind of course and we just found out because of the coronavirus that basically like and we've been thinking about it our team has been toying with the idea of changing it and the guy who does all of our flights internationally we've used him for a long time just messaged us and said hey just so you know you guys should definitely cancel your mastermind because <clears throat> what did he say he's just like all basically the only way to get to bali is to go through infected countries yeah. and so like you're either going to get exposed to coronavirus or you have a chance of getting stuck outside of the US and not being able to get back in. And so that is something obviously I don't wanna put any mommy millionaires like at risk to get any type of disease, even though it is already confirmed in the US, but I don't want people to spend all this money on flights and everything. It's two months from now. Um, and then us not be able to go, right? So what we're gonna think, I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna hop on an emergency call right now with the mastermind and just say, hey, what, what do you guys think about going to New York in May and moving the international trip to the fall to see if that would, you know, be a little bit better, right? Yeah. Is that right? I mean, because hopefully things will be cleared up by the fall. I mean, that's like six months from now, right? We'll see. I mean, I think about like when the SARS virus came out, remember that was big? That was big. I mean, worst thing, we booked something in Mexico, like in- I'm not going to Mexico. In Tulum or something. Tulum would Tulum, be really we cool. Tulum, we could do Tulum. And Tulum in the fall, winter would be a lot better than the summer because it's hot as crap in Tulum in the summer. But Tulum has a lot of the same vibe as Bali, very similar vibe. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna, so what should I say on the call right now? I would just say, look, we have, you know, this is out of our control. We don't have 
you know, we don't want to put ourselves or you guys in danger by traveling through infected areas. Yeah, I just, I don't, what I'm scared of is that they would get stuck, that we would all get stuck outside of the U.S. Because, like, what's happening, like, there's Orange County residents that were on that Princess Cruise that are um, not allowed to come back to Orange County. They're all quarantined. Like, you know what I mean? That's crazy. Like, you're not, like, you wouldn't be able to be reunited with your family. It seems crazy, though. That's two months away. Like, they're going to get this crap cleared up, right? Or is it the end of the world? I have no idea. This is not, I mean, my friend just got back from Japan, and she said it was fine. I don't want um, anybody to get there and then not be able to get home. That's my biggest fear, is that people, we're going to get out of the country, and then they won't let us back in, you know, for some some reason. So, I wanted to see if you guys were all down with, okay, Bree says she agrees with that, sweet. So, I wanted to see if you guys would be down with moving Bali to the fall and doing New York City in May. It's like still great weather in the beginning of May in New York City. Um, and we'd still have a great time. We would just make it a shorter trip. We would just do a two day and then we'd push out the, the longer retreat for the fall. Um, because hopefully by then it'll be cleared up. But for right now, they're saying that like in May, like our flight guy is like, cancel it. Like he's like, there's no way you guys are gonna get there without like somehow being infected. I'm like, oh my gosh. So, um, who is okay with that? Okay, all right. This was a lot easier. I thought people were gonna be mad. Okay. (laughs) We don't want coronavirus. Oh, really? Okay, they've all been talking about it. They expected this. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Okay, well, so that's great. Um, Yeah, because we were looking into other things like Maldives and all that kind of stuff, but there's still like a possibility that we could get it. So um, I think it's best we just stay in the U.S. and then hopefully in the fall everything's all cleared up. So that being said, everybody's on board. We're going to just like get try to get all the details for you guys by well, you know next week, yeah, next beginning week. of next week. Um, yeah. So, does that sound good? But we're still going to be the same time frame. We'll just shorten, condense it to be, you know, the two and a half days like we did last time. And we'll let you know those exact dates, but it'll still be that same week. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I love you guys. Thank you for popping on here and being so amazing. I know. It's like, oh, I miss you guys. I think we have a call, like, next week or something, right? Don't we? I don't know. You guys know. You guys have it all in your schedule. I appreciate you guys. You guys are so amazing and just, like, loving, making this so easy. Uh, You guys know, just be flexible with life, right? We can't control it. They're just like, they just declared an emergency outbreak in Orange County with coronavirus. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm like, go get the kids from school. (laughs) But it's, I mean, Lindsay, you know, as a nurse, they said it's just like the flu. Like people are recovering. So just pray. Anyway, I love all you guys. I'll let you guys get back to your day. I know everybody's busy and stuff like that, but I mean, not a Love you. Love. Bye. I went and picked the kids up from school. And then we went to the doctor's office. And all of us got adjusted. It was pretty fun. No, you didn't get adjusted. That's okay, though. That's okay. Do you feel okay? So right now, I just took some medicine, so my mouth's like, oh, not having fun right now. You're the star of the show over here, Chan Chan. Okay, anyways, I'm going to go pick up Charlie's friend, and we're going to go to their first ever all-girls football practice. Bye. <laughs> then we have a date night tonight. Bye. So, I'm really excited about it. What are you most excited for? Uh... That my two friends, Sophie and Kinley, are on the team. Nice.
hog here too, so was I well, straight. Well, right up the sideline, well, exactly yeah. how I would do it. Remember eating Laguna? I'm not driving all the way there. What's at the port? I don't like the food at the port, unless you wanted to go eat and then go watch the movie. So where are we going to eat at? Now, Wednesday night, we've made it a priority to go on a date night. And I was not feeling it today because I'm just like, you know, you guys know, I'm healing from this thing. I was like, I want to go to sleep. But I'm so thankful that Chase is like so committed. He's like, no, we're going. We'll do something, you know, low key and chill. So what are we going to go do? Go to movies. <laughs> we're going to go to movies. And I'm excited because we have like one of those like luxury cinemas and stuff like that. Yeah. So, but why is it important? Like, why did we make this commitment to do a date night last week? Just to reconnect to, well, we work together, so this is kind of like our time to, to get away from work and go and spend time together just connecting as a couple. So are we not allowed to talk about work right now? Yeah, we're not allowed to. Not allowed to talk about work, because that's going to be hard. No. Okay, what can we talk about? Like, is there anything life, that's I mean, off we limits? We have a lot of stuff going on in life right now yeah. that we're going to talk about. Okay. But tonight's a movie night, so we're not going to talk about it. Ooh, so I can just sneeze. Yeah. Okay, right? Yeah. All right, so we're headed to date night. See you later. See you guys. <laughs>